Plains in the Battle of the Sea. He will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's look back to the AFC Championship game held earlier today. And it's the Baltimore Ravens who are heading back to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half as one of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. To find out who, let's turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And this offense trotting back onto the field. Let's turn our attention here to Ronald Jones. And he's made it easy for us to put together a highlight package. Just wondering what he ate before this one started. <laughs> Let's include that in the package, right? Get the gourmet out here, figure it all out. And he guaranteed he'll do that going forward as well because with a game like this, you don't want to change things too much. Oh, yeah, you also want to continue to get that great blocking he's received today, too. Yeah. Kudos to the guys up front indeed. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Again, it's Jones. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. Now they'll toss to Jones running left. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Brought down back at the 24-yard line. Now he'll throw with Brady. That's caught by Howard. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards the pick up there. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 47-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Looking deep now for McCoy. And he almost intercepted him. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. On the delay, Jones. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. On the tackle. A gain of only a yard. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And Brady, the tight end's got it. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Brady now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies masked in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. Switch, switch. So the offense, a little antsy. The flag comes out, and a five-yard penalty. Offense. Ooh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? He 
So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Here's Brady to throw. Airing this one out for Evans. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd. Waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. And it's caught. And the Buccaneers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the recent. before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Taysom Hill taking it in. And the puck. They're going to take the lead. Gay is on for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was Taysom Hill who finished it off with a touchdown. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He turns and gives to Coleman. And he stopped immediately there. Levante David in on the tackle. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. And a 49er first down. This is Moster. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Ball carrier. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up here in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The throw over the middle, taken in. Garoppolo's pass. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. A gain of a yard. First down, San Francisco. To throw is Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. First down, 49ers. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. 
And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. It returns it right back to Samuel. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Second and two. At the bucket. From the gun, it's a handoff to Coleman. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Coleman, the ball carrier, taken down at the 11 yard line. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now Moster. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Great call to hand that one off, and his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly, and on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play, and guess who benefited? The guy with the football. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Takeover first and 10 at their own 23 yards. And here now the offense heading back out there. When you talk to these guys in training camp, these are the moments they say they live for. You're in a playoff game. It's tied fourth quarter. Time for somebody to step up. And can you execute under pressure? Because the pressure is intense right now. No one wants to be responsible for making the error that costs their team. But at the same time, who's going to be responsible for making the play that gives the advantage to your team? Who's going to break out? Just what you said. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Now Brady. He's got Evans. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A big pick up there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Throwing again, Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. The pass. A fumble. On the Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And yeah, that will be incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And this one likely on the short list for game of the year candidates. And boy, did it come in a good one here in the playoffs. All tied to the fourth with a berth to the Super Bowl on the line. Buckle up, everybody. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. But not much on that run. Run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. He's up north of 100 yards receiving now in this NFC Championship game. And it's a first down. Play action. Garoppolo. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. First down, Poster. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. 
And finally, down at the 36-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First down, San Francisco. Here's Moster. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. On the handoff, this is Mostert. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Ball carrier. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He was looking that time for Dante Pettis. Garoppolo to try again on second down. Looking middle and it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And this is going to be intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. He's at the 50, 30, the 20. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That's an excellent stop right there here in this tie game. They're doing their best to hold the fort and at least force a field goal attempt. Down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got it second and goal as they look to grab a late lead. They'll try again with Jones. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second. their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Short field as they take it in for six. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 
25 yards. Garoppolo and the Niners now. Down 28-21. A minute 47 on the clock. They need a touchdown to keep their Super Bowl hopes alive as they come up on first down. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. He'll look to throw. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Complete to Dante Pettis. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. To George Kittle. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. San Francisco. Back to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pickup there, 21 yards. This will be caught at about the six. That catch good for only a couple. Complete to George Kittle. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Back to throw, Garoppolo. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. And goal. Game on the line. Season on the line. They're going for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. Now right to board. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. So a drive that covers almost the entire length of the field will result in zero points. That frustration is not just going to be felt by the guys on offense either. It's going to be felt throughout the entire team, isn't it? I mean, we've been there before, right? We've seen it. That deflation can go through the entire ranks. They have to really work to make sure it doesn't affect them going forward. The Buccaneers are on their way to the Super Bowl. Thank you all so much for watching, and good night. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.